Whales are the biggest animals of all time. Heavier than elephants, woolly mammoths, and even dinosaurs. But they weren't always the titans of the sea. Let's rewind the clock around 50 million years. No, you won't find any whales here. You have to go ashore. Meet Pachycetus, the very first whale. Life on Earth spent millions of years clawing its way out of the oceans. But whales took all that effort and threw it out the window. From 50 to 40 million years ago, they traded in their forelegs for flippers. In fact, some whales today still have leftover bones of hind legs. Once submerged, their weight under gravity no longer mattered, so they could theoretically grow to enormous proportions. And they did. Today, a blue whale is 10,000 times more massive than the Pachycetus was. But this transformation wasn't as gradual as you might think. In fact, over the next 37 million years or so, whales grew increasingly diverse, but their size remained small. For example, one of the first whales with baleen instead of teeth was only 18 feet long, making them easy prey for predators like giant sharks. It wasn't until around 3 million years ago that an ice age tipped the scales in the whale's favour. Ocean temperatures and currents shifted, sparking concentrated swarms of plankton and plankton-seeking krill. It was an all-you-can-eat buffet for the baleen whales, who grew larger as a result. And the larger they became, the farther they could travel in search of more food to grow even more. You can probably see where this is going. Three million years later, humpbacks, for example, have one of the longest migrations of any mammal on Earth, traveling over 5,000 miles each year. As a result, modern whales are the largest they've ever been in history. Take the biggest of the bunch, the blue whale. It weighs more than a Boeing 757, has a belly button the size of a plate, and its network of blood vessels, if you laid them out in a line, could stretch from Pluto to the Sun and back over two and a half times. In fact, the largest blue whales are so huge that scientists think they may have hit a physical limit. When they open their wide mouths to feed, they engulf enough water to fill a large living room, so it can take as long as 10 seconds to close them again. Scientists estimate once a whale is 110 feet long, it can't close its mouth fast enough before prey escapes. So it's possible we're living amongst the largest animal that will ever exist. Lucky for us, they mostly just eat krill. This was made in large part thanks to Nick Pineson and the information in his new book, Spying on Whales, 